Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see rapper NBA Youngboy is waking up in a county jail in Utah. Yeah, county jail records actually list the rapper, whose real name is Kentrell Golden, on its inmate list this morning. Now, this is the story the WAP digital team, what you're seeing here, is working on right now. Here's what we know so far. He's been serving house arrest in Utah since 2020. It's a series of arrests during a music video shoot. That's what it stemmed from. Now facing several charges, including identity fraud and possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person. The sheriff's office has not set bail here. It is clearly a developing story. We'll let you know of any future developments. Bruce rapper NBA Youngboy is back behind bars after an arrest in Utah. Records from the Cache County Jail in Utah show Kentrell Galden, NBA Youngboy's real name, is an inmate there this morning. Arrested yesterday evening and charged with unlawful activity, attempting to purchase prescription drugs, identity fraud, forgery, possession of controlled substances, and possession of a weapon. Golden is awaiting trial for federal gun charges, uh, which was paused in March pending a U.S. Supreme Court ruling on the Second Amendment rights. The rapper was indicted in 2021 after he was found with two guns during an incident in Baton Rouge in 2020 when 16 people were arrested on drug and firearm charges while filming a music video in an abandoned lot. He's been under house arrest at his home in Utah under surveillance by a security firm staffed by military veterans only allowed to leave for mental health treatments. But the county where he lives in Utah is not the county where he was booked into jail yesterday. Wow, man, man, this guy, man. And check it, man. Boss Talk 101 tapping in, man. NBA young boy, back in custody again, was on house arrest, Utah, playing with them folks, man. Cache County is not trying to hear it, man. Cash County in Utah. Utah is not a good place to be and they come pick you up. I can promise you that. It just don't even sound right. But I think he elected, to, you know, I don't know what may, how he ends up there. But man, this guy, man, I'm praying for this guy, man. Just a few months ago, I reported on him because he had some pills that basically these pills had spilled over. And boy, I tell you, this something else. Um, you know, he had a picture of him on the floor with the pills. By, I thought it was an album cover. I wasn't for sure, but I do know, man, that he is, he has a great influence on the youngsters, man. I started dealing with him, you know, back when I was selling his clothes at the store, the, you know, his, his never broke, you know, uh, you know, his whole run, his whole thing just been dope. But for him to, you know, start fighting these charges and, doing this all over again after beating the feds already. It's crazy to me. Um, but the opportunity that he has, some people never get the opportunity that this guy has. And for him to be going through this, man, is a stretch beyond my imagination of how he could, you know, continue to get caught up like this. A lot of people, you know, uh, this fame thing, this money thing, money only amplifies the problem. If you have an issue, an underlying issue, money only amplifies the issue. Guidance becomes a thing. How was he raised? What was his upbringing like? You know, I keep seeing him going through it over and over again. All of the people that really have been around him and in his circle, are you trying to tell him something correct to do? Are you trying to be a yes man in this situation, man? I'm praying for all the young brothers, man, that's out here struggling, trying to understand how to maneuver in entrepreneurship as they come up on these different situations where they're put into position. So we got to step up and start trying to do something to help these younger brothers and if they won't let us help don't stop trying bro that's i have been able to touch a lot of a lot of young good dudes uh in a way to help affect them and change it didn't matter about their status they call me a lot of people call you wouldn't imagine the people that call me and every time i answer that phone i'm gonna give them something that's gonna take them somewhere and i ain't talking about to be locked up in custody in no dang utah I'm talking, and I think that's the reason why a lot of times these young men or these young women or these people are, are kept away from me because I'm going to give them that good game because of the things I already faced and been through. And NBA Youngboy is one that I've really been rooting for. You hear his name come up on the show. Uh, Kenny B spoke on him. Kenny B is locked up. Kenny B, all these different young dudes, man, getting locked up, man. I heard, you know, having issues with drug abuse and just, it's sad, man. And I really, really, really want to see NBA young boy come out of this one as well, to be honest with you. You know, you see Kodak Black, he just get out. Uh, he he go through his thing. 
uh, uh, what's that other boy name? Uh, Honeycomb Brazy. You know, all of these guys, man, these guys are going through it. And as they go through their different situations, we got to find a way to uh, rock out with them in a way to where, you know, we can help them. Because that's what it's all about, trying to help the next man. Not getting them caught up, not, not, not letting them get caught up in the system. Um, we got to do better. We got to do better, man. Uh, where is the where is these guys at these these guys that, that that talk to these young men, man? I seen Birdman with him before. I know Birdman trying to tell him something, right? Uh, I seen uh, a lot of I seen uh, you know Gillen and them. They they hung out with him. Uh, I don't know. He said he liked the bootleg Kev interview. I mean, where are the people at? Are they gonna step up and you know try to talk to him? If you if you can't talk this dude out of off the ledge. You know, you really the one that need to be even setting up talking to these dudes. Let's just talk about that for a minute. You know, we got to talk them off the ledge, man. They got to be known. When times like this come, that should become like, man, I had, well, we doing it, but we ain't doing it where people can see. And I get it. I ain't worried about you doing it where people can see. I can see what's really going down. Believe that. Uh, we trying to stop little brothers from crashing out, bro. And uh, I'm definitely uh, one of those guys. I'm, I'm, on that, I'm on that type of time, man. So, man, hey, man, listen. I got my girl, and I know I done ran it. I don't know where that came from, man. Shout out to everybody that been supporting NBA Young Boy, the guys that have been able to talk to him and try it, okay? So don't trip on me. But anyway, let's talk about the reality TV. I know she been watching this. She the one called me this morning, got me on my way about NBA Young Boy locked up, locked up. I'm like, okay, reality TV, what's up? What's up, man? Tapping in, man. You talking about this NBA young boy thing, man? What you think about it? Kentrell, Kentrell, Kentrell. Wow. Um, I just you unanimous government name. Yeah, I've always prayed for him. Every time I see him, because I can just see his eyes and. I can just see it's something on him. I don't know what it is. We don't. We don't know what it is because we haven't been you know, in his shoes. So we don't know. But at the same time, I feel like people condone it because when you have money and you of uh, a uh, status, you will have yes men and yes women that will do what you say and don't care what you do as long as they benefit from it. You know, and I feel like as a culture, we have to do better about what we do push and what we do it, the people that we choose to uh, represent us as, you know, a representation of who we are. So we have to do better as, at, at that. It's, I feel like it's okay to be ratchet and, and stuff like that, but I feel like it's a time and a place for everything. But um, Kentrell, I don't call him NBA young boy. Um, Kentrell has a beautiful family because he is married and he has a uh, so how many kids he got? Because I don't seen him with a few I think kids. Like 10, 10, 11, something like that. And he, I think he is under twenty five. I don't know for sure, but he is young. When he said NBA young boy, I thought I think he meant he was talking about building an NBA team. Oh man! Wow! Uh, wow! But he, you know, how he is with music. Despite what he's saying, it is creative, and he do have a gift. But just because we have a gift don't mean we have to use it that way. How many, I mean, okay, when that case happened, um, can, uh, kind of just run me down through there. What happened as far as, the, who came, was it the feds? Who, who came in on the boy? Everybody, everybody you name, the FBI. The um, Homeland Security, uh, the SWAT, the Drug Task Force, the Secret Services. I mean, you want me to keep going? Wow, man. I didn't know. I just didn't really know how the story is developing, man. Like, so, you know, like I say, Birdman, all them boys, they, they do have a connection with him. And I, like I said, I'm hoping and praying that somebody's able to get through to him and let him know it's a serious thing. You beat them feds one time, it's cool. It, it, they 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 got a ninety five percent conviction rate. It's just tough, man, trying to maneuver in a world that that that, that you 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 know you you it's an uphill battle when you're dealing with them people in that courtroom, man. So I hate to see him going through that. I'm gonna say this. So I want to give some game. So 
in the entertainment world, just because you beat a case or anything like that, you got to know that it's something that's going to come behind it. So get ready for whatever come behind it. Wow, man. Thank you so much, man, for tapping in. I know already you're going to keep me posted. Let me know if there's anything else come out developing about this. We'll get back on here. But I just want our listeners to know, man, or, or better yet, get in the comments and let me know what you guys think about NBA Youngboy. Like, like this move right here. You know, did you see this coming? Did you feel like he was going to crash out? Or did you feel, do you feel like they, this is uh, propaganda? They putting stuff on him? Do you feel Make like... Make sure you drop that video with him uh, doing the Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I definitely, I just want you guys to get in the comments and let us know what you guys think, man, because... Like I said, man, it's a sad case. Brothers keep going through it like, like NBA Young Boy is doing, man. So, hey, man, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys keep tapping in. Make sure you guys become members on Boss Talk 101. Make sure you check out Miss Jamaica's new page. Go follow Reality TV. Go, go check out uh, um, Terry Cherry. All the people that's affiliated with us, man, if you need your photography done, get with Coop. But, you know, he's shooting everything up in the room, man. So it's going down, man. Uh, boss Talk 101, man, where the bosses talk. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.